We have a trade to announce, ladies and gentlemen. The Ottawa Senators are bringing back Ryan Dezingle. Uh, coming from Carolina, the Sens are sending Cedric Paquette and Alex Galchenyuk the other way. By the way, Alex Galchenyuk, since 2017, this is his sixth team. That, those really seen. added on because you forget um, he was like kind of a semi rental with the Wild or, you know, a bit of a cap dump for the Penguins. It was more of a cap dump. Yeah, more of a cap dump. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting because. I think like he was on Montreal for so long. Uh, the, he had the opportunities there. He had that one thirty goal season, and then yeah. just once he left the city, it's just I I don't know what happened. He's not. A do, do you think? Do you think it was a case of it? It worked in juniors, but he didn't work his game so that it worked in the NHL. Because I think that's an issue with many players. That it's just it worked in juniors, but it just didn't work in the NHL. Do you think that's the case with Galchenyuk? Do you think he was rushed, Adam? Rushed? He was always good. It's just it, the, 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 the knock on Galchenyuk has never been his offense. His skill, his shot, it's all there. It's just he's not good enough, and I think Alex has it right, of just translating because obviously in junior, it's one-on-one games, right? The way you play defense in that when there's a system in the NHL and you know what, you have to be good in your own zone. And Galchus was never able to be that. Um, and is part of that developmental on Montreal and Michelle Terry. And absolutely. Uh, at the same time, a lot of it as well is on Alex Galchenyuk. He just, now there were rumors about, you know, maybe him being distracted off the ice. I mean, it's just, he was never a centerman. He just, uh, he just lost it. I don't know what it is. He just, did he ever at that those key developmental years really you know what did he become that player he was always supposed to be i don't know because again it wasn't like everyone it wasn't an off the board pick either no like people had like people were talking about him over yakapago at one point it's just i think there was taken right now i think (laughs) everything that could have gone wrong with him went wrong really um i think that's the simple fact of gouge but I didn't think we were going to go that deep into it. Um, you know, when I think of guys, people like Ottawa could bring back that are good for the room and the young guys, I think it's Ryan Dezingle. I mean, he, he had his best years in Ottawa, obviously. I think this is a damn fine addition. And I don't really feel like like Cedric Paquette and Alex Galchenyuk are that big a price to give up to get him back either. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't. I don't think that's much of a price at all to get exactly. back to get back Ryan Dezingle, who is knows that locker room in a sense, maybe not necessarily the, the players, but not even the coaching staff, but he knows the organization, right? With the exception of like D, like the coaching staff, he knows that organization. Like my worry with Ryan, I, I hope Ryan Dezingle does not try like turn into the next next Mark Boriecki in the way the organization handles him. Because I think they it feels like they just didn't have that one guy in Ottawa to pick and say, okay, when Eugene wants to do a video, we're going to take this guy. And now it seems like they have that guy. And I, I hope they don't, don't do that to Ryan Dezingle because I think he can be a useful asset to that team, I think, more in the locker room especially even yeah, on the I, ice. Yeah, I agree that it's just, just another guy that, you know, when we think about that era of everyone getting traded away of what was going on with Ottawa, he was a bit of a bright spot. He wanted to stay, but of course they were not going to meet a salary demands. And when he went to Columbus, it didn't really work out there, but I think it's great for Ottawa. They're going to get a guy that they're familiar with someone who can transition between the young guys and like the vets they have there. Just someone who's a bit of a stabilizing force. And for Carolina's side, they save a lot of money <laughs> from this. You know, they get two expiring contracts. Um, they get they, they get some movement here and there. Like, I think with Carolina, we've always talked about their first line. But, you know, it gets kind of a bit thin as they get into the bottom six. Um, you know, we're a Warren, Warren Forgel fan, but we want to see more mm-hmm. uh, out of that. But... It, it, it is a deal that I think is going to work on both sides. Um, I, I've talked about this last year, which is ironic, that 
Galchenyuk is going to find his way on things in Minnesota because of their lack of offense. They're just going to give him the minutes, but that's I'm just going to just wish him the best in Carolina this time. <laughs> if he stays there. Yeah. There, literally, after the trade, weren't there, there there were rumors coming out that there's a chance that he might not stay in Carolina, like the well, team might trade him again? Yeah, He was put on waivers today. Right, right. Well, always so, a good sign. Yeah. Um, the key- he's only no, he's no, 26 no, no, no. now, right? Uh, Galchenyuk, maybe. He's old. Because Morgan he's Riley's there. 26, right? He's 26, 27, yeah. right, maybe. Um, no, I was just going to say about Dezingle. Like, I think when he was in Ottawa, I think being in Ottawa, those were his best years. Like, those, especially those last two years. So, I think, I don't, just looking at the numbers, maybe wasn't the greatest time in in Carolina. Like, he was a almost a point per game in 1819. Like, he had 44 points in 57 games. So, like, that is clearly when he's playing top six in Ottawa, something's right. Yeah. Hey, that, uh, you know what? There's no such thing as having, you know, um, like, a, a, you know, Dezingle, say what you want about maybe he was the guy who had to score there. And it's just because of the opportunity. You know what, man? That's a roster spot that's stopping a young guy who probably isn't ready from getting in there. There's a lot to like about um, Ryan Dezingle. Yeah. And again, a few 20 goal seasons there. Nothing mm. to complain about. Maybe he does well and you get like a fourth for him. I don't know. 